Well, we're in the shop today. Uh, the wind's blowing about 50 miles an hour outside. Um, we've been cooped up in the house for the last eight months. Um, and my wife was getting tired of me the other day, so I decided I was going to go duck hunting. So I got out there. The weather was pretty good. And um, it started raining. And it started raining so hard. Well, it was like a cow pissed on a flat rock. It rained so hard. But... I had all my gear there. I was hoping to kill a duck. It was NFL Sunday. And hell, I'm boycotting the friggin' NFL right now because of their actions. So um, I came home. All my gear was soaking wet. And I decided that I was going to uh, change the way I do my hunting gear. I'm going to look for something different. And I'm going to show you what I came up with. Right now, what I'm using for uh, for gear is I've been since 19 the early 1970s. I was using a stool and a gear bag with all my gear in it. And when it rains, they get soaking wet. So what I did is I came home from that hunt trip. I got on the old internet and uh, I found a wise uh, bucket with a seat on it through Optics Planet, and uh, I ordered one of them. Well, when I got to the shipping portion of it, the, the uh, bucket and the seat was only $42 or $43. Shipping was $26, but you know, if you buy two of them, you get, uh, you get free shipping. So I opted to, to buy two buckets. So, But at the time, they only had one bucket, and a seat that goes on a five-gallon bucket. And I thought, well, what the heck? That would be excellent because I have five-gallon buckets. I got camo paint. Wouldn't take anything to, to put a bucket together. So I ordered the bucket with a seat on it and just a seat. And now I'm going to show you what they look like and, and some of the concerns I have with them and some of the stuff that... Uh, uh, I like. The first one I opened was the bucket with a seat on it, and it's pretty heavy duty. It says it has a, cool, a removable styrofoam cooler in it, and so we, uh, the, half the cooler comes out. And the other half pretty much stays in there. And what I wanted to do is put my coolers, or put my, not my coolers, I want to put my thermoses in there. I usually take two, a couple extra boxing shells, uh, an extra jacket, uh, just odds and ends, gloves, stuff that I could pack out there without having two, two bags instead of one. Or have one bag instead of two. What the hell am I talking about? But uh, when this came in, if you look at the bottom here, it has a bunch of holes in it. And I was hoping to have a bucket that was waterproof. But with a seat on it, it might be loaded in and out of the boat. Uh, we'll see how it works. But uh, all in all, it's pretty darn good package. It's about the same height as the as the uh, stool, but it does have a back on it. And when you get a little bit older, you probably want to, to have a little bit of a back. Uh, the string that came with it uh, didn't have a way to get uh, the string around the, the piece that it hooks to, so I had to drill a hole all the way through the bucket. But other than that, I think, uh, I think this will be a great alternative to what I was using, and we're going to see how it works out. Then, then when I opened up the seat portion, it didn't have a padded seat on it. And it was $10 cheaper than less than this here, so, you know, I thought, man, what am I going to do? Because, you know, one thing about it, 
when you're setting up decoys and it's 10 below zero, and you sit on something that cold, it's going to drive your hemorrhoids crazy. If you don't have hemorrhoids, you're going to have them. So, and once again, there's a whole bunch of holes in there, but the seat does cover it up. So, I'm uh, kind of wondering how it's going to turn out. It does swivel. Three hundred. They both swivel 360 degrees, which would be pretty nice. I went and painted up one of my five-gallon buckets, and I put some uh, string on it to took the handle off, put some string on it, and actually, that is built really well. They have a five-year guarantee on them, but I had to do something with the seat. So, being in the little town that I'm in, there's only two stores open besides the gas station. That's a liquor store and Walmart. So I had to go to Walmart and uh, look for a seat. So what I came up with is Walmart had a seat. They had about three in their store. One was thin. One looked like a whoopee cushion. And then they had this mossy oak, heated, padded seat. When that seat's on there, it brings it up to the right height for an old guy that's had both knees replaced. And I do believe I'm going to enjoy this. So all in all, I'm really happy with everything that uh, I got from Optics Planet. Other than I didn't read the fine print. It was my fault. But uh, I think it will be a plus. Uh, the whoopee cushion or the cushion on top here cost me about $20. So I got about $51 in this setup here. And we're going to try it. You'll see it in all of our videos when we're goose hunting and duck hunting this year, uh, coyote hunting. We're going to take these with us. And we're going to use the crap out of them. And we're going to see how good they really do. So stay tuned. Keep following us. Now would be a good time to subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all you subscribers. And we're always looking for more. You have a great holiday season. And we'll see you around the first of the year. And we have more videos coming out.